Welcome to the Glaze Studios oil painting tutorial. This is Gomathya Sivasankaran. We are in the um, third uh, session where we are going to be deciding on what is to be painted and also um, more of strategizing and planning on what exactly can we do with it. And um, in front of me, there's a, there are some printed images. You will also find the same images. Um, in the uh, link attached but um, if we get started before we get started what is it we are painting this is this is called Ardhanarishwara and, and for those who have uh, uh, never seen this image before it's um, um, it's a Hindu god and goddess Shiva and Parvati's image that is that is seen as one hmm? <clears throat> that is seen as one and you will see these images in various forms that I have printed off and also you can find the same in the link and I will tell you why I am taking this and and uh, the motivation behind it this is something I'm uh, I really love to work on um, doesn't matter forget about the religion or where it is coming from there's a lot of aspects about this that is so appealing and it's so good to follow the feminine and masculine energy balance that is the strongest takeaway from an image like this and this is very much telling about it um, in, 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 uh, uh, in the subtlest form that you could e express um we can we can take this for our health whether we can take this for our life um or uh, the way we respond or um uh, react to um, our own uh, uh, people our own family members and so on and also to the opposite sex <clears throat> also at work yeah um so in so many ways, this this particular image is so appealing. That's one. Another thing is that it is so very uh, interesting to see this animal kingdom around. And I will tell you, the um, uh, in 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 Hindu religion, uh, every single god or goddess will have their own uh, vahan or vehicle. Um, the uh, and and the vehicle that they use is usually an um, animal or or something representative of uh, an animal um, or a bird sometimes. Mm -hmm. And if you see that these animals can they coexist? Can you bring a a, a cow in front of a lion and imagine it will not eat the cow? But can you see that, you know, the, the, the personalities, if you, these are all metaphors. And if you look at it, you know, the way they can coexist is so amazing. And also you see a snake around the neck uh, of uh, Shiva. And there's this uh, half moon. There's also another snake on top. There's so many elements to it. And, uh, and a flower in the hands. Um, if you just look at it scientifically and not not thinking about the the uh, the godly aspect of it isn't it amazing that such things can come together um, and both aggression and also peace um, can co coexist in a space and that is uh, that's so much represented in, in a very single, very simple picture. The Nari Sura means, Adha means half. Nari means woman, a half woman. Man uh, is, is uh, Shiva here. And he is incomplete without her and she is incomplete without him. Um, this is an amazing picture, yes. Uh, that's... that's uh, no more <laughs> reasons, explanations. I love this, but what exactly am I going to work on? And um, we know the the the, the um, canvas that we have prepared is an 80 by 60 centimeter canvas. 
so we are trying to look at uh, the aspects how we could uh, um, use it effectively and what exactly can we do about the size and what also can we do about these references why three references to make one picture um i like the idea of taking references that's exactly how we are also learning but at the same time i would also love not to copy too much and uh, um use my own imagination um when it comes to painting or drawing deities there are also certain aspects that we need to be sure that we are uh, you know having all the elements or aspects clearly done so just to be sure that i'm not missing out on anything i would prefer to have um um a, a reference at least one reference but here i have taken three references one in black and white certainly is going to be a central reference from some some point of view uh, our dimension point of view to be to be clear so there is one in black and white i also have these images pre- uh, in the uh, laptop to show and share with you in the screen um i have references based on uh, things or uh, colors uh, that i really like and also references um yeah from uh, from the whole you know aspect of it the background of it also Uh, so many things that i found appealing in three different angles that that i that i had uh, identified three different images here so we are going to start with the central reference and before we get started with the central reference i want to share the screen with you and get started to show you the image in an enlarged format so it's even better for you to understand um how we are working so this is the the actual reference and all three reference images were google searched and picked up um and i have uh, taken them from the point of view that i will use them as a reference only and i will try to move away from the core concept and do my own thing in whenever i want or combine um stuff uh the way i want so right now the central reference that i am taking is for the height and the way um the um god and goddess are pres- represented i i like this whole length of it and this is exactly what i want in terms of the overall image so let's say the structure is going to be this but in this structure what i was um um uh, not wanting to do was the skin color of uh, shiva um uh, the in in the religion also we always say shiva is a neelakantan neelakantan and um the blue throat mm-hmm. um and also he, his body itself is in in, in that bluish gray blue format which i am missing um i would prefer that that's number 1 and also um, a few other aspects of um, of this picture is not clear enough maybe the image itself was never loaded properly though it's a beautiful image uh, it's a sorry case that it doesn't give that kind of clarity for us to uh, justify maybe somebody copied something copied and somehow it entered our uh, google platform and we never know i am not able to see the uh, name of uh, uh the original artist also sometimes i try to find if there is any uh original artist's name so i could go and search and find the real picture and uh, and also mention that i am taking reference of his picture or her picture not possible in this case but still so many things aren't so clear uh the conch and so many things i would prefer that they are a little more clear from clarity point of view um yes i need help from another picture and that's where i picked up um the the picture here this skin color closely comes to to what i was looking for not there but still there 
um i really love the clothing of uh, shakti this color so much talking to me personally because i think um if i'm not wrong it's called traditionally it's got bottle green or something uh in in the the in the silk sari world if i am not wrong um i'm on, i'm not a fan of these sarees but i have seen my mom and uh, uh, grandmother uh, so much going for the bo- bottle green so it reminds me so much of that uh, tradition so i'm not able to move my eyes off that maybe i'm biased so i think i would love so much to um pick up this color and and the, the jewelry and so on from here i like the aspect because there is so much uh, on on the in the top going here the ganga uh, river falling from shiva's head i i like this way it is coming down i would like to use that but if i go back to uh the hair the way the hair is done this picture is appealing to me the way the hair is done is appealing the way the ganga is flowing is appealing in the other picture and then i see this color especially where the muscle and 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 the the bone uh, are uh this is so much the kind of color that i would like to um do on shiva i must say all three faces are really equally um heartwarming and i love them bo- all three so it's a little bit of a challenge um but the face to choose the face i would possibly go for this face i i think i will i i like this more that's personally appealing so can you see the kind of combination that i'm going to make now um it is going to be a a lot of work um with all these references so a lot of going back and forth and this is going to be a um an advanced level an example of an advanced level where uh you have seen references that are so good in only one angle or two angles or such and then you are ending up with three references or more um then how do we do a balance of it how do we still achieve uh, what we want to achieve uh, and and uh, keep a balance out of it yeah um i like that um, aspect that he has um, the um, trident in his hand and this in the main picture that we are going to take the structure from the one that is got in that is in black and white can you see that this is separated i i this also was something trident is so much uh, an impression uh, of uh, lord shiva and if you do not draw lord shiva and if you have made a trident uh, you are uh, somewhere uh, somewhere down the line connecting to lord shiva so i i would love him to have this in his hand um instead of uh, the axe um so that's one thing i i i i thought that i would go for uh, the pictures here where the you know the, the trident is there and this uh, um it's called udka in tamil and I, i don't remember the it's a drum it's a it's a it's a percussion instrument if i have to put it uh, i'm not a musician to know more but uh, it's a beautiful instrument so there is music there is there is dance there is uh, so much energy when you talk about shiva uh uh and that has to be coming through uh this standing picture why not this one the 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 proportion of it is i i wouldn't call it wrong i would expect because the name here i can see the name of the artist possibly that's the name of the artist lavanya and i would have expected uh, the, um, the the artist to have done uh, an amazing job at it maybe while um, copying and printing it off copying and uh, and putting it in many places the the structure of it come somewhat got distorted because i would expect it to be slightly taller the height of it is uh, isn't uh, uh, 
talking right to me um the proportions seem to be missing a beat somewhere uh, so i will uh, for someone that is so much detail it's again uh, the proportion errors i am i'm also an artist i have done so many proportion errors and um this is something that we always learn and it could be uh, it could be possible that it's accidentally you know like i said copied in a different manner the format or condensed and so such and so on so i cannot judge on that but i must uh, i must say that there's so many things appealing in spite of this i have a feeling it is condensed it is it is not a error from you know human error it's condensed because i can see the parallel connect here of the legs of the animals and and uh, and and uh, shiva and shakti there is something that is um, slightly condensed that's that's not giving us the right picture here at least uh, i'm unable to find a better uh, alternative there but i love the color so much so i decided to stick with it um i am going to now start working on the uh, the next steps so before i get to the next steps i want to just summarize on um what is it i'm going to do now so so the main image is going to be this image where the superstructure of uh, shiva shakti adana reshwarar is going to be picked up for the height of it and for that i have have i have the black and white print off once that is done a lot of elements are going to be changed for example the the hair folds will be taken from another picture the um, the ganga uh, falling on from the head of uh, shiva will be take, taken from another picture and also uh, the trident will be placed exactly here the um, the clothing jewelry and all will be taken from another picture that is the first picture most of it will come from this first picture we are not talking about the animals at all so this is going to be another level of challenge what we do will be to first um focus on getting the shiva shakti image right with all the components in it and then we work side by side on um on the animals um, uh, that are coming adjacent to it so the focus is going to be today at least on the um shiva shakti or adhanarishwar image yep so that's the plan and i'm now going to stop the screen share now we are going to make some grid lines here that is going to be in alignment with the grids that we are uh going to create on the canvas so we are able to uh mirror some of the sections of this image i'm enjoying my evening cup of tea while i record so what i will try to do is to note down things here for you when i make the grid i will make the grid with the pen on this black and white image and then scan it and put it also for you to be able to see and maybe download and use it if you want but uh, it's important to do the grading by hand to understand how how you are uh, thinking yourself at least in the beginning i would i would advise you to do that of course there are amazing tools available that you could always have grids on on some pictures and keep them open in your laptop or some device while you are painting but in this case we are going to be referencing back and forth with images the meshes are going to go <laughs> hey wires so mm, it's it's a good idea to have grids and 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 put up and also switching back and forth between images in your uh, laptop but just so that you don't forget let's do it manually here and uh, practice doing manually so you are able to measure with eye even though things are going this way or that way in any any directions uh, and are able to find nuances of minor uh, variations errors maybe 
without the support of any technical device so your eyes and hands coordination um is very important and for that i would advise you to do this manually so i am now the next step that we are going to do right now is to just focus on the central element here um the overall height let's take the overall height and i have seen the overall height i think it is um I remember seeing it to be 24 cm. Hmm, this was 18 and then there were 6 cm over. So the print out that I have made is 24 cm. I'm going to use that 24 cm to break it down into 3 cm sections. Yeah. 0 3 6 9 12 15 and then there will be 18 18 and then after 18 we have 21 and 26 uh, 20 sorry 24 yes so we are going to do the same thing on the other side so that we are able to link both lines yeah so i am uh, starting here i can see that this is slightly over the printed image yeah minor uh, maybe a millimeter i'm doing that i'm marking 3 6 9 12 15 and 18 and 21 and 24 yep we are we are going to link this so we know the breadth is divided into 3 uh, 3 cm divisions why did i do a 3 cm division you will see it soon enough so i'm just going to connect these two lines to make the the horizontals of the grid gridding te- technique is a very good old technique that um people have always followed um even professionals have uh, used that there are professionals currently that use that as well there is no shame at all in using the grid to take support to identify um, where the proportions are and where things are um yes it's a good practice to draw directly without uh, uh without the help of um, grids but when when it comes to such complications that we are adding on to this particular case it's not going to be easy the face is going to be different now even if we had the super size the face is going to be different there are many components that we are going to change with all these um you know uncertainties that we are building into this case i think it makes total sense that we are using a uh, grid to be on the safer side okay in this case i can see that um i am not going to worry about the sides because i want the spacing to be there in my canvas so i'm just looking at the centroid of this and i want 3 cm blocks but not whole way i don't want everything because i want the space for the animals to be there so and this is not exactly i'm going to follow because the trident is going to come inside uh, and very close to the body of uh, shiva um so that's not not going to be you know much of use uh measuring the sides of it i'm going from the center so instead of doing what i did in this totally measuring left to right i'm just looking at the center where is the center the center is where the 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 half the face is half is isn't it i'm just looking at the center and marking the center with my own hand that's what i did and i'm just placing number 6 why number 6 because i like it no 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 i am just thinking i need again a 3 cm block 
zero to three, three to six, six to nine, and nine to twelve is what I am interested in, and I'm not going to work on anything more. So this this being the centroid, I want to work on this centroid. Um, so I'm just drawing the line. Uh, into the centroid so i will get one two three four boxes uh, i'm not worried about the the rest of the space um because this is where i'm going to add things to my own need from other pictures so i will just draw this centroid line so it's cutting through and you will see that it's cutting through um uh, Shiva Shakti's uh, head, but then it doesn't mean it cuts through the nose, right? Can you see that because the face is slightly tilted? Can you see all these very minor little things? And is it cutting through directly because the way they are standing, the way they are standing, you will see that you know um, Shakti's uh, uh, dress taped around, and it's a, that's coming beyond this line, this portion of the line. So this is our center. Let's do the same thing. This is the number six for us. So it's going to be three and zero, and I will just do the nine, 12. And now I'm going to continue the partitioning. I need a longer ruler. This one I could have used, but I cannot see anything because of the paint. That's how I, I use so many things on top of um, this ruler, so it's not so helpful. So I have essentially made The last block, but if you are really worried about what is about what is going to happen to the next two blocks here, we could always have blocks around. Um, if we take three more centimeters here and here, and uh, let's say that this is um, so yeah, 15, then it becomes 18 centimeters, isn't it? So I could do that for you to just you know, just to ease your eyes, so you are in the in the overall landscape of your uh, um, picture you you see the space there and there is nothing worrying you yeah so i'm going to mark as zero here so giving three centimeters to the sides um as well that looks pre presently empty but we will fill it with elements from in uh, from other pictures so the central image for you is going to be fully aligned with um, what you are looking for at the bigger image. And these are three centimeter grids, isn't it? Three by three centimeter grids. What is the size of our uh, canvas? It's 80 by 60, isn't it? It's 80 centimeter by 60 centimeter what are we going to do with the 80 by 60 so so now this is so when i finish this you have the grids sorted out for you um But it's the same size. This is a bigger canvas that we are going to work on, isn't it? So what are we going to do? We are going to enlarge this image. So the proportions are important, isn't it? So we were sticking to this three by three and we were wondering all along what exactly is she trying to do? So I did a three by three. Let me put that three for you. And then we... My, we have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes in the 
bread so that is coming to the 18 centimeters that we have here and this is what is this one two three four five six seven and eight okay and that is 24 centimeters so what are we going to do if we are going to uh, enlarge this into that 80 centimeters I will take the 6 and the 8 so let me use the 6 and the 8 uh, uh, that's the 8 and when we multiply it by 10 voila what do we get we have the 60 centimeters and the 80 centimeters so all we are going to do is to make 10 by 10 centimeter boxes or uh, you know grids in our canvas and then we try to replicate this image only we will forget uh, the other images we will just focus on the uh, you know overall image how it is going to be from here okay now that we have this do you see the face has to be slightly different so this is the space where the face will come and I have printed off the face here. And I want to see in a measure, rough measure, the size of the space where the face is fitting. I'm just, just starting with the tip of the chin, zero. And I see that just underneath three centimeters, the overall, um, in the, the face's height is fix, fixated here. And let me check here. Zero to, yeah, well underneath three. It is so similar. Let me check ear to ear. Cannot see the ear much, but it is still visible because of that. There's, there's some jewelry in 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 the uh, ear of Shakti. There's no jewelry here in um, Shiva's ear, but then there is the hair strand. So I'm just checking end of the ear to end of this ear. It's slightly under three centimeters. I'm just checking here. How lucky can we get with these images? Um, this is ah, uh, this is slightly under two and a half centimeters. So this is exactly why this face is slightly circular, and this isn't. So. When, when we do the super image, when we do the work, we'll have to be aware that when we draw the face, we'll have to slightly make it um, less sharper and maybe less curvy. Yeah, that's what we want to do here to get to this uh, face structure. Yeah. But overall, I wouldn't want to do a lot of, you know, scaling into this. I think this is what I wanted to understand. So now we are done with the uh, grids as well. Um, so if we have to summarize what we tried to do today, today was definitely not some work on the canvas, but a lot to do with the planning where we have reference pictures, not just one or just two, it's three reference images. The main image was the one that was taken in black and white. Uh, why black and white? It helps us just understand tonalities and um, remove the noise uh, uh, due to the colors, just for the sake of us focusing on the clear uh, outlines. And we need only the outlines here from this image because a lot of how this image is going to be developed has to do with two other pictures the face so while we are working on this we will uh, we will adapt the face to somewhere close to this picture where you can see the seated um, position of Ardhanarishwara or um, Shiva Shakti um, man woman uh, okay so we are going to take the face from here and then once it is done we are again going to use the trident to bring it to the hand of shiva that's the plan that's what we will do mm. and then uh, the changes that we will make will have to do with adapting to the the clothing the colors here 
for Shakti adapting to the Kal uh, skin tones here for Shiva. The animals will be the next step, um, and for that, I I personally think, like I said in the beginning, there is some some challenge going on with the leg. But when we adjust or when we work on this height, body height, we will be able to adapt the animals also. Um, with the cow, I can I am only not convinced with the with the the leg. Uh, with the lion, maybe it needs a little bit more work on 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 its hair and texture. and also the angle in which it is coming out the angle the animals are coming out doesn't look um, so appealing to me also i want to bring them like they are very close to the body of uh, shiva and shakti um so somewhere you know uh, 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 giving it an uh, diagonal angle slightly so it looks like they are rubbing you know touching uh, the skin of or the back of um uh, shiva and shakti so I, i just want to give that effect and let's see if i can achieve that and what we are going to do is that we will have to can we see where exactly these animals are going to fit in so these are two clean blocks where nothing is there that we are going to take and because we are going to push the trident over closer to the body if we just imagine that this whole trident is moving here then we get enough space um very similar to what we see here yeah so we will be able to fit in the animals um as regards the background which is more important as well i love the background um here that is so light um yeah and the water and the flowers and so on i i see so many elements but we already have so many elements um in the in the, the main content the key content itself so um let's do try to do justice to each and every character and see how things are panning out and then we can um take a little more of the background you know from here and try to evolve it accordingly so this is the overall plan and the summary of what we have done uh, so far i hope you have uh, found this useful uh, on and learning how to how we can reference different images and still use uh, logics that can be combined in certain ways um to work on large canvases and also the idea of using references in the beginning when we aren't um, um so very sure of uh, certain aspects um and and um, being able to do justice with it and most importantly being able to strategize what exactly are we going to do with the uh, image so i hope you have uh, um, enjoyed this and you have learned something from it please do share your thoughts and ideas on how you see it or what you prefer to do better um uh, and uh, yeah if you have any questions or if you have any comments at this point that uh, you would prefer that i answer remember to uh, write to support at the glaze studio.dk uh, s u p p o r t at the T H E G L A S G L A C S T U D I O dot D K. Thank you very much. Looking forward to having you around in the next class where we are working with the next step is going to be on the canvas doing the ten by ten grids and starting to plan the images. Thank you. Bye bye.